What's going on guys? Today we're going to be assembling dining chairs. Um, so I've had a few questions in the past about where I get them, where I get my chairs from. Do I build them custom? Um, the answer is no. Um, and everything I use today will be linked in the description. But I just want to show you all how to assemble them. They're super easy. Literally all you need is a drill and a Phillips head bit. All the nuts, bolts, screws, even the Allen head wrench comes with it. So if y'all have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments and I'll get to them. And um, here we go. So y'all can see right here just how easy it is. Everything literally comes labeled with the R, letting you know it's the right side. Everything's pre-drilled. Um, there's instructions in them. It literally just bolts together. And there's, what, five or six pieces per chair that you have to worry about. So not hard. Instructions come with it. And honestly, I've had a few people ask me why I don't build them custom. And honestly, it's just not worth it. Uh, and as bad as that might sound, chairs are meticulous, they're hard to batch out, and they're just not worth the amount of time it takes to build them. Where you can buy this on Amazon, uh, you get two chairs for, I think this pair was like $160. And they vary. Uh, different designs have different prices. They range anywhere from 115 to a pair to right around 200 per pair. But like I said, you, you look at any kind of YouTuber or any kind of builder, not many people are building custom chairs. And it, it, it is sad, but it's just hard to batch out. So uh, like I said, I will put the description to this specific chair in my description. But if you go on that Amazon and just look up International Concepts uh, Unfinished Furniture or in Unfurnished Chairs, they have a, a plethora of different options. Just like that, the assembly is pretty much done. So I'm putting the top on it. I'm just sitting it on it because I still got to go back and stain it and uh, put some lacquer on it to finish it. But I just wanted to show y'all how it looked. And it's just easier to stain it, paint it, everything. Especially if you're doing contrast and colors separate. Because uh, if you see here, the, if I was to assemble the seat before you paint it it's going to be chaos trying to keep that separated so um, that's the easiest way i found to do it this customer wanted a uh, uh tr it's called tricorn black from sherman williams their satin finish and then the ones on the left are just my personal chairs so uh, we decided to do pretty much the same but also with this one the customer went with a provincial stain from Minwax and we use a satin lacquer finish from Minwax as well and we just go with the lacquer for the seats because it is so quick and easy you can literally do three four coats within a couple hours and it's strong durable doesn't mess up uh, so that's the my preferred method for finishing um, 
right here I'm going to assemble the tops and if you've ever used pocket holes it's pretty much the same concept you're literally just drilling in from the bottom into the top so that's it guys if you ever get these you can add leveling feet to the bottom if you want some people add little foam pads for their so they can slide on carpet but super simple literally you've seen in this all you need is a drill and a phillips head bit so make sure to go like and subscribe thank y'all for watching and uh if y'all need anything any questions leave them in the comments and stay tuned for next time